Hi, and welcome to the platform overview of the WebHose.io API. This tutorial shows you how to filter your own web data feeds for testing, integrate the API into your live production build, and scale up your data consumption as your business grows. I'll log into my basic evaluation plan, which comes with 1,000 free requests per month. We'll start by reviewing how to filter web data feeds using the API Playground environments. You can review a detailed video tutorial for each of them separately. The default web data feed delivers content crawled from news, blogs, and online discussions. News editorial content refers both to established news media destinations such as CNN, Fox, and New York Times, and hundreds of thousands of other niche publications. Blogs includes both independent publishers and large blogging platforms such as WordPress and Blogger, and online discussions refers to threads from message boards and community forums. For results crawled from news, blogs, or online discussions more than 30 days back, you can head over to the Archive Data section. The Reviews API delivers content crawled from online review sites. The E-commerce Product Data API delivers content crawled from product pages on e-commerce websites. Finally, the Dark Web API delivers content crawled from Tor Network. Notice access is restricted to confirmed cybersecurity vendors and law enforcement or government agencies. In addition, the basic free plan is limited to one month of Dark Web data consumption. Each API playground includes a query editor and corresponding endpoint URL. Let's click Run on the default query. You can see your results count, followed by the output format with a side-by-side -side visual glimpse. The dashboard displays an account of your web data usage, which you can monitor as you build out your application and scale. At the top, you can see how many requests you've used on your plan, how many are still available in your quota, your plan type, and finally, your schedule request quota reset date. The plan consumption chart shows your relative request quota consumption segmented by API. The green segment indicates your remaining unused quota. Notice you can mix and match any API on a single plan. To the right, you can see a daily breakdown of your usage over time. And further down, you can review your latest queries from each of the APIs. You can reset your API key over here. And down below, you can review your archive data purchases. Further down, you can access the archive data section as well. If I go back to the playground environment, I can review the documentation section for a detailed description of each API, how it works, and use case examples. We update the fact regularly to address concerns related to coverage, query syntax conventions, and more specific technical requirements. You can also check out the software libraries we've documented and shared over on GitHub. If you still have questions, you're always welcome to click on the Let's Talk link. We're always happy to help savvy customers like you. Thanks for watching the platform overview. See you in the next video.